Brighty was, I mean, first of all, a great player. I played against him uh, for Crystal Palace for many times, where it, it was borderline, where it was all going to kick off, you know, because it was a kind of mini riot about to happen with Wrighty. You know, he could explode and score a goal one minute, or explode with you. You know, he, he could stand all over you, he could poke you in the eye, he was, um, you couldn't take your eye off him for a moment, you know, he was, I mean, when I used to train at the club, I used to make sure that I was, I was trying to, I was picking him up because I wanted to test myself in training. And so to test yourself, you needed to be playing against Ian Wright. Um, but what a finisher. I mean, I don't think people realise, I mean, because obviously Henri's gone on since and scored many great goals and Dennis and everything. I think they were a bit more controlled. You know, they make, like Dennis would make one run for, for the defender and one run for you so you could find him. For Ian, Ian was like a corkscrew. He'd run left, right, and expect the ball, and give you a rollicking if you did if you didn't give it him. So that was a, it was difficult. We wanted to give it to him because he scored the winning goals. But he used to choose how he wanted to finish. He would literally have a book of of finishes. You know, okay, I'll put this in the top right hand corner because I haven't done that for a while. I'll put this in the in the bottom left. It was unbelievable. He wasn't he wasn't into this kind of like run round the ball that you see Welbeck do now and Henri and I'll feather that in there because that's my stock finish. He, he had all sorts of finishes. He'd probably been a better finisher if he'd have scored, you know, he did have a standard finish, but he didn't like that, he wanted more. You know, he was, uh, if we were 1-0 up at half time, he used to say to Wrighty, you know, think of tomorrow's headlines. And he'd be like, yeah, you're damn right, you know, I want a hat-trick. And that was, he wanted to be the number one player. And if that meant we could win things, then you gave him that kind of goal to, to succeed. But he was, uh, I think he came in quite late, played non-league football. He couldn't, the, he was living the dream. You could see him, that he just, his eyes were like, you know, saucers. He, he was at Arsenal Football Club and he wasn't, wasn't gonna let the chance go. Um, and he, he was a great fun to be around as well. When, when he left, he was pretty well the first big name player to go in 98. And I was a little bit worried that we might lose a little bit of something in terms of the spirit and, the, and around the place. Cause you know, most of the time he spent giggling between matches uh, and then going out there to, I like the balance he had. Yeah, uh, it was because he was super focused once the game started.